Boston's coastlines currently face a larger threat from the impact of climate change than other areas around the globe, according to the recent U.S. Geological Survey study. From North Carolina to Boston, sea levels are rising three to four times faster than the global average. The problem is that we have built our city, and lots of other cities have been built this way, with the expectation that the sea is going to stay put where it is. And that's simply not true. Barrier islands along the coast are the most vulnerable. Plum Island, a barrier island about an hour outside of Boston, has already seen damage from the increased sea levels. Michael Morris, a surfer and resident of Plum Island, has researched wave data and said he thinks the barrier islands are affected to a great extent by sand migration. As sea levels increase, erosion occurs exponentially faster, bringing water closer and closer to the land. Doug Strzok says barrier islands are not the only areas at risk. Landfilled areas like Back Bay, East Boston, and the South End were all essentially built from islands, which leaves them highly at risk to flooding due to more intense and frequent storms. Cities along the seacoast, New York, Philadelphia, Boston, even they ought to accommodate and plan for the fact that the water is not going to stay where it is today. Strzok stressed the fact that regardless of vocation, every city around the globe will bear the brunt of climate change in this lifetime unless people adopt a more steadfast approach to reversing some of the damaging effects. And it's going to happen certainly in this century. It's probably going to happen in the next 30 or 40 years. And if we don't make changes in the next 20 years, we won't be able to stop it at all.